What is going on guys? My name is Atlantis and welcome back to Ice and Fire Season 3. Cinder is being very loud, but if you can't see already, some things have changed. Now, if you watched the little video that came out before this, I don't know how many days before this, I don't know when this is going out, um, you'll see that we changed the world that we're in. So, what the reason for that be is Ice and Fire is in 1.18 now and the previous world, the other world, it doesn't like being updated. Every time I've tried to update it, everything turns into pink and black squares and it never it never works. So that's why we've made a little story element for why we're in a different world. But don't worry, we'll be going back. We've still got dragons in that other world that we need to bring to the new world and, you know, transport over. So that will be a project later down the line. But at least we've got Cinder with us. Look at her, she's so pretty. So another glaringly obvious thing is I've changed my skin. Now the reason being is I'm not a ter not not too terribly impressed or a fan of my old skin, so I've changed it a bit. And what is that? Hey hey hey! Now you listen here. I'm trying to explain things. It is time to stop. Thank you. But I'm not too much of a fan of my old skin anymore, and I quite like this design. Also, blue's not really my color anymore, so there's that. I, I'll probably keep the channel looking the same, but who knows, we'll see. Now oh, I've got some rotten flesh, lovely. But anyway, let's get going into our new world. So this village is right at the spawn, and it's I'll, I'll put the seed in the description if anyone wants to play on this seed as well. It's actually quite a nice seed, but I have not raided this village yet. See, there's the house. There's the house. The house from our, our little adventure we had. It's in here. Ooh, some stuff. I will take the stuff. All of the stuff. And there's our little, our little book, the book of To the Stranger that we read in the little trailer preview thing. That turned out better than I thought it would, actually. And it was really well received. Thank you for all the nice comments on that, by the way. Never done anything like that before, so it was it was a fun little challenge. Now, there's a box up there, and I'm going to get it. Um, I don't know how I'm going to get up there. I should probably go get some wood. Some wood would be a good idea. Oh, look, it's Cinder. She's sleeping. And there's, like, five creepers around here. I- I- why are there so many? I don't like it. Leave me alone. It's fine. I can handle this. Is this is fine? Just don't blow up. I would like to have some gunpowder, please. Now there's something shooting at me. Oh dear. Ow. <laughs> this is fine. Oh, now there's a spider. Oh, and a skeleton. Lovely. All I have is an axe, but that's okay. That's all I need. <laughs> I'm not dead, so that's that, that's the important bit. All right, I have finished looting the village. It actually had a fair bit of stuff in it. So we're going to head over to our new base area. So I've already picked this area out. You are going to blow up. Or not. But I've already picked the area out, and I must say it is probably one of the most beautiful areas I've ever seen in this game. Ow. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Thank you. It is probably one of the most beautiful areas I've ever seen in this game, and I can't wait to start building there. So, Cinder, I'm sorry, we need to wake you up. It is it's time to go. Do I have any food for you? I have rotten flesh. You're not picky. Cool. Alright. So, uh, where are the coordinates? I'm just gonna go up. <laughs> go up so I can't get hit by anything. Um, coordinates. I need to find those. <laughs> okay, coordinates be found. So it is more or less directly in this direction. So we're going to head over there and then we'll get going on with the next bit of everything that we're planning to do, <laughs> whatever that may be. Well, we've made it here and Cinder is already making friends. I would prefer if it didn't want to kill me. <laughs> oh my God. Look at it. It's going to follow me around this whole time. But anyway, here is where we're going to live. Now, this area is absolutely incredible and when I saw it I had to live here so it's basically a big crater <laughs> I know these are more common in like the the new terrain generating thing it's still following us but I really like the way this area looks like look at the lake and like there's a cave there this even it even comes with a village that's that's one of the best parts but I think we can do something really cool here I like this place like it, it, it looks even better with shaders but anyway um you are going to Mess with my villagers. Okay, the, your time has come. I am sorry. The time has come for you to go away and stop. That Stop. Don't you hit me. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. We don't hit. Oh my god, this is such a task. Why is it so difficult? Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to take care of our pest problem here. There we go. Now I'm hitting it. 
And then we'll get on to whatever we're doing next, whatever that may be. You know, I wonder, actually. I, I don't know how close it is to dying, but I wonder if we could get away with, like, chaining it to a pole? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I really want to kill it. Like, we need new armor, because we lost everything. But it's following me, isn't it? Okay, I'm gonna... Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> now you listen here. I know you heard me. I know you heard me saying I want to chain you to a pole. But that's not... That's not... That's not... I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> I just need you to leave me alone for like two seconds. Stop leave me be! I need to find just a spot where I can be away from this thing for a moment. So I can make a chain. Okay, is it... Is it done? It's... No, it's not done. I, I don't know why. Not done. Okay, you know what? We're gonna just park Cinder right here. If you could just stop, please. Can you not? Can you refrain? Stop. I would like you to stop. Ow! Stop hitting me. Why are you hitting me? Not me. You're not supposed to hit me. <sighs> you know, this is this. I'm not even surprised at this point. This is just how it's going to be. Ow. <laughs> Is it hitting me? Okay, no, I'm healing. That's good. <sighs> Got a pest control problem. Ow. <laughs> Can you just step, please? I would like to... St I need to get... Ow, I'm going to die. <laughs> oh my god. It... It's not even. It's just... It's just not. It's just not. Where... Okay, is it... Is it gone? It's gone. Okay, it's done. It's it's stopped for like one moment. That's all I need. Okay. Oh, my bread's gone. Oh no. Well, that's the end of the bread. Um, right. Iron. I need iron. I'm gonna try to get a little bit of iron, maybe? If I can find some? Hey, there's an iron... an iron golem. <laughs> that's a bad idea. <laughs> Hello. What do you have in here? More bestiary pages. Those are gonna come in handy. Um, right. Uh, hello. Oh, a horse. You are irrelevant. <laughs> anyway, I... Maybe there's some iron. There's there's this massive cave over here, so I bet there's... Yeah, there's some iron right there. What do I need to make the chains again? I don't remember. I need actual chains, which need... I Yeah, which need iron. I can talk. Okay. I am going to get some iron, and I'm going to put that dragon on a chain, and I'm going to keep it as a pet for the rest of my life after I make some more bread. More bread. All the bread. I swear, if that iron ore was just one- was that really only one iron? Game, why? <laughs> I need more than that! Oh my god, okay. Well, I don't really want to go down there yet. That's dangerous and scary. <laughs> Ow. So it's fine. I'll find more. There's got to be more around here. I will find more. I know there's more. There's always more. There's that as well. You know, you just- you need to go away. It is time to stop. Step. Cool, we have acquired a chain. Okay, so I should probably set my spawn before I go and do this, because it's very stupid. Um, where, where's the bed? There's a bed. There's a bed in here. Spawn, cool. That's that sorted. All right, let's go find that dragon. And I need to make a wall. I've got a chain, but I have nothing to attach it to. Um, let me just make a wall really quick. There is something very, oh, oh dear. Oh, oh look. No, don't burn. Stop burning. I want you to be my friend. Okay, I'm just going to ow if you could not. That'd be great. Stop burning and stop hitting me. Okay. I don't know if you'll still be here when I get back. You might despawn. No, 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 no. Well, okay, that's, that's unfortunate. Oh, you're so... You're not... You're not... You're... You're gonna die. <laughs> Maybe not. Hey, look, we got him. I don't know if he's going to stay there. He might despawn while we go and attempt our stupidity. Oh, look, she's sleeping. But if she, if if he doesn't, then we'll have a new friend. Okay, let's go find that dragon. It's got to be sleeping by now. And it'll probably be over here somewhere. Oh, no, he's, he's not sleeping. <laughs> it's not sleeping. <laughs> okay, so the tricky bit is going to be getting the chain on it. Oh, do, do they go back to their roost when it's nighttime? Don't remember that being a thing. 
If you could just land, my life would be a lot easier. I, I would appreciate if you land. Can, can land, please? There's a spider after me. Step. Thank you. I, this is such a bad idea. Are you just going to spin? I am probably going to die attempting this. This is so stupid. <laughs> now listen, I just, I would like you to be a friend. Oh, look. We've got more not friends. Can you stop, please? This is the stupidest thing I've done in a while. <laughs> I don't even have any inventory space. Oh, no. Okay, well, if you're just going to fly around, I'm going to try and do this this way, since you're not being violent right now. I just need to get the hitbox of you. God, the frames. The lag. Oh, no. Oh, you've landed. Oh, uh, there's a bat after me. Oh, God. You're hitting my dragon. How dare you? You were rude. Okay, let's just take care of that. Take care of all of our problems real quick. Most of the problems. One problem is still down there. It doesn't want to go away. Oh, my God. This is such a task. This is this is more difficult than it should be. I'm just going to bite you to death. Thank you. What is... Oh, it's a baby zombie. We're just going to fix that. There we go. It is no longer a baby zombie. Okay. So here's the plan. I'm just going to kill these things real quick. <laughs> nothing, nothing wrong here. It's not aggroed on me either, which is interesting. Let's just do that. Okay. Those are dead. As soon as I dismount, it's going to become very probably angry at me. Oh, yep, there we go. Go away! Fly away! <laughs> well, we've got it! I don't know what to do with it now. Okay, I have a problem attached to a chain. What's the worst that could happen? Um, where do I put it? <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I didn't think I'd get this far. Ah, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm just going... I'm just going to put it over here. I'm just going to chain it on the ground. Right here, after I get rid of this problem. These werewolf things that are killing all the horses. Step. Why do I do this at night time? It was not... I didn't think this through. <laughs> okay. It's going to... Ow. Ow, there's still an angry wolf here. Okay, get rid of the shovel, please. Oh, I got it. Okay, good. I've got it. I've got it. I can fly away now. <laughs> okay, let's go sleep and then we'll look at our handiwork in the daytime. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. Leave me be. <laughs> Help, Cinder! I don't want to die. Oh my god, I just, I just can't win. There's just no win. Okay, finish off those, please. Thank you. You know, having a dragon at the start is really helpful. <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm gonna go sleep, and then we'll go see what our new friend over there is up to. Okay, there's our new friend. Look at him or her, actually. What could possibly go wrong by keeping that as a pet? I, I'm gonna make a cage for that and put it in a cage. I'm just gonna, I wanna keep it. It's cute. It's, it's, it's dangerous. It is dangerous. It is cute though. It can get me. It's on a chain. Okay. Anyway, we should probably get going on something actually productive. <laughs> My god. I've been recording for almost, what, 40 minutes now and all I've done is tie a dragon to a bowl. <laughs> okay, so the plan for this episode, obviously, is to get ourselves a little starter house going and to, you know, start building up some stuff. There's a blacksmith down there I have to check out as well. Oh my. Oh. Well. I did not know this was here. Well, that's that's convenient. <laughs> when I was playing around with this seed, this wasn't here. Uh, let's see what's down here. Is it is it worth my time or is it not worth my time? Don't think it's worth my time. Now if you yeah hey 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 don't do that. Don't you know that's mean? Step. Is that a male or a female? I can't tell. It's a male. I'm going to just leave it there. I 
think it's a male? It has spots. Yeah, that's that's a male. Okay, not my problem right now. If it were a female, that'd be different, but it is a male. So actually, mm, I have an idea, actually. I, I, have a br I have idea with brain. So one thing I found out a while ago is that you can actually breed a tamed dragon with a wild dragon. So maybe that's what we'll do with that one, since we've got Cinder as well. But that is a project for down the line. That thing's not going anywhere, so we're just going to leave it there, and I might steal some of the resources later. Oh, what's this? Another cave. Another interesting thing as well, um, the the layer that the dragon layers, the, 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 yeah, sure, that makes sense. The the Y level that they spawn on, that hasn't changed, even though the terrain generation has. So Y level like 30 to 40 is still the best Y level to dig for them at. When I was making sure everything spawned correctly, that's where they were all spawning at. But anyway, let's explain the base plans for this episode <laughs> once I find a suitable little spot. I'm thinking... Oh, look, Hippogriff. That's cool. So, I'm thinking right over here is going to be the best place for our starter area. And by right here, I mean right below here. So, let's head down here. So, this wall is the thickest wall of our crater we have here. Everything else is too thin. And it's not that it's terribly thin. It's just too thin to house that. <laughs> so... <laughs> This is this is the only wall that's actually thick enough to house a almost stage five dragon. So what we're going to do is I think I have to think I, I don't somewhere between right there and right there. We're going to dig out a rather large cave to give Cinder. So Cinder needs a house. Cinder has spent most of her life inside of a dragon horn and or sitting on top of a wall. So we're going to give her a proper little roost layer sort of thing to live in. So we're going to dig out a good portion of this wall in order to make said roost layer thing. And then for our own house, we're going to build like a little uppy staircase sort of thing, kind of up and next to it. So if the big hole is right here, then the other cave that we're going to live in is right there. And that is, it's just granite. Okay, well, it was dripstone. But that's the plan for our little starter house today. And yeah, cool. I, that, 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 that's all I've got for that plan. That That's the plan. <laughs> Dig a really big hole and make it look pretty. That's a, that sounds like a plan to me. Okay, so I've got a lot of work to do to be able to do that. So I got a lot of resource grinding ahead of me. <laughs> but look at this place. It's beautiful. And we've even got a graveyard. This is a really good seed. <laughs> Again, the seed will be in the description. Oh my god, I can't talk today. It'll be in the description if anyone wants to also come and see this spot. Um, what are the coordinates of this place? That's the coordinates of this place. So if you want to see this spot for your, or build it in your own world, go ahead. This is this is the coordinates. This is the spot. It is a really good spot. I've got a brilliant idea for this place as well. So can't wait to get going on that. But anyway, we've got a starter house to get going on. So I suppose the next bit of episode will probably be time lapse or maybe something interesting. Who knows? Anyway, either way, I've got a lot of work to do. So I will see you guys shortly. Alright, so it's been a few hours since I recorded the other clip, and I have a brilliant idea. You see, it's dawned on me just how big of a hole I have to dig in the wall over there in order to make this thing fit and to make a house for myself. So, why not go get a pixie? Because the pixies give you... they give you an effect based on what color they are. So if we get a pixie that gives us haste, then my life is going to get a lot easier. So I'm gonna go get me myself a pixie. Oh, hey, look! There's a nice dragon over here. That's neat. As long as it stays over there, I won't care. But there are pixies that live right next to us. See, there's even a village right down there. So the trick is going to be getting to them. You are now in a tree. It's going to be getting to them and catching them <laughs> without losing all of my stuff. But it's fine. I only have a cake and all of my cake making ingredients on me. So what could possibly go wrong? But ideally, if we can get one of each, that'd be great. But honestly... I just want a haste one so I can dig a little quicker. But let's see. There should be right through the woods here. That's that nether portal that I was going to look at earlier. My frames are disagreeing with me. Oh look, there's a pink one. Hi! Stop that! My bread! No, come back! I need that! My bread! It's taken it! L listen here. Stop! C give it back! Give it back! I do not appreciate you taking my bread. Okay. Anyway, where? I need a yellow one. Is that a yellow one? Ah, oh, there's a yellow one. I am going to catch you. Hello? That's not what I meant. Hey! 
Wait, my eggs! No, come back! Give me those. You pest. My buckets! You know what? Where did it go? What? I'm... What? Where did it go? It took my bucket. I can't believe it took my bucket. Don't you... Don't you dare. I swear. Where's the one that took my buckets? It's the one I needed. It's going to come here. Yaha ha yourself. <laughs> I have caught you. You tried to steal my wheat. Okay, now where's the one that stole my buckets? <laughs> oh my god. This is going about as well as I thought it would. Is it you? It's you! Come back here with my bucket. Thank you. Okay, now I'm going to leave before they take anything else. <laughs> right, so hopefully we'll be able to tame one of these. Well, we should be able to. We, we, we should be able to tame both, actually, but I don't know if I really want to. <laughs> one of them is going to go on a shelf and just live there. The other one I might actually tame and make friends with. <laughs> oh, look, some stuff. I'll come back for that later. But let's head back and let's tame a little pixie so I can actually start doing some digging. Okay, so the trick for timing a pixie, first off, you are going to go right there. I bet you're the one that took my bucket. Yeah, you're not even looking at me. You won't even look me in the eye. You're the one that did it. You took my bucket. I know you did. Okay, so the trick is to place the pixie, throw them a cake, or not place the pixie. You literally, you just throw them a cake. The jar just makes it a little easier. Okay, that, that. You are not nice to me. Take, take it. Take the cake. Give me that back. Come here. Oh my god, it's running away. Come back. <laughs> I need you to be my friend. <laughs> okay, just throw cake. Accept the cake. What if you take it now? Oh, you take it. <laughs> it took its house back. <laughs> okay, take the cake. You will accept my cake, or I will put you back in the jar. If you don't want to be a shelf ornament for the rest of your life, I suggest you take this... That? No, Cinder, I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm trying to hit this thing. Drop it. Take cake. You will accept my offering. <laughs> laugh at me. Accept it. I wonder if... I don't think punching it has helped my case. Listen here. You will accept the cake. It is not an option. It is a requirement. It's all for you. Is that my bread? Do I... Okay, I thought I was missing a stack of bread. <laughs> Take... Do I need to break the other one out of jail? Yeah, I know you like... Get, Get away from Cinder. You have a whole cake. I don't even know why I'm giving you a whole cake. You're one pixie. You don't need a whole cake. I've just had a very big brain idea. What if I let it loose in a house? If I let it loose in a house, then it can't fly away and it will have to accept the cake. Just need to remove this and that. Okay. You know, I'm going to also do a smart thing and put the rest of my stuff in a box. So that way they can't take it. Watch, now it's just going to take the entire cake. I got it! Nice! Aha! It fell for my trick! It only took a clay ball <laughs> instead of an entire cake. So now, we've got permanent haste. It's only haste one, but it's haste, and that will make my life a lot easier, considering I have only found enough diamonds to make one diamond pickaxe, and I'm still living on iron pickaxes. <laughs> but anyway, I'm gonna get going on hopefully time-lapse next, and if something more interesting happens, you guys will get to see. If not, well, on to time-lapse. Alright, so for this time-lapse, I'm not going to explain too much of the process, because I explain a fair bit of it right afterwards. But throughout the, the time-lapse, you're going to see me sort of change my build style a little bit. So it's going to go from using a pickaxe to using magic, and again, I'll explain all of that at the end of the time-lapse. Or between this section and the next section, because this video actually has two, because it, took, it was such a long time-lapse that I split it into two little pieces. So it, it'll be a bit more digestible that way. This video is also very long. In the Currently in the editing process, I'm realizing that it's about an hour long. But hey, why not? It's It's got a lot of decent stuff, I guess. 
Also, one little slightly off-topic bit that I've noticed. Every single sort of beginning Ice and Fire episode that I have made, I'm pretty sure we started out with Gabe, <laughs> but this is definitely one of the best caves we've made, if not the best cave we've made so far. Maybe some of the caves from season two, but we didn't really make those. We, we sort of just dug a hole and found a bigger hole and made it into a better hole. But this time we're actually making a hole. Anyway, I again, I don't have much to say about this time lapse, so I'm going to shut up and enjoy the music, enjoy the time lapse, and I will see you guys shortly. All right, guys, I think I think we're on day three now of working on this project and we're probably about halfway done. I still have a lot of detail to do and I've got a lot of work more to get finished, but at least there's a cave now, <laughs> which is more than can be said for most of the last few days. But my God, it has been tedious and I, 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 it's gotten easier though, so that's something. I have made my life a lot easier. <laughs> by actually using the mods that I installed. So here's the process that has occurred over the last few days. I started digging this thing, as you saw in the time lapse, with just a regular bit of iron tools, and then I realized just how big of a hole I was trying to dig. So I decided that wasn't going to work, so after about 10 minutes of that, I went and decided, hey, I'm gonna tame a pixie because pixies can give me haste, and then I can dig faster. So I tamed a pixie, and it was still slow. It was faster, but it was still slow. So I thought, hey, maybe if I go find some dragon bones and make some dragon bone tools, which I did, it'll go easier. And it was easier. But it still wasn't as easy as it could have been. So then I thought, hey, maybe I'll enchant my pickaxe. And I did, because I found an efficiency 5 enchant on my enchanting table, so I got very lucky with that. It made it quicker, but then my pixie died. <laughs> and in my attempt to tame another one, I accidentally killed it after it stole my food, so that didn't work. So then I decided, hey, I've got a magic mod, let's see if I can do something with that. So off to the test world I went, and turns out the Arznovu mod does have a digging spell. So I was playing around with that, and it did, it did, it do dig, it dig, it dig do, but it only places one block at a time. 
Well, not places, it only breaks one block at a time. So then there was the task of figuring out how to make it do more than one at a time. And I realized, or after some tinkering around and messing with the mod, that I could upgrade it to be an AoE spell. But I needed to go to the nether to do that, so off to the nether I went. And after some exploring, I found a nether temple, and I managed to get myself some blaze rods so I could upgrade my book, then I could get the better spell. And that made my life a million times easier, and I got this cave dug out in about an hour or two. So that... That's the sort of progress update for where we are in the world. We're probably about halfway done with this cave, and I still have another one to dig. I have to dig out my own house, but this is going to be Cinder's house, and I think it'll look beautiful once it's done. Currently, we're trying to work on that arch right there to try and make it look a little natural. Ours Nobu as well. It's also, it's also, it's not the right button. It also has a placing spell. Where is the placey spell? There's the placing spell. Place block. So instead of having to suffer, and let me see, yeah, I have that the right setting. Instead of having to suffer and like try to build the underside detail with scaffolding, I'm just, ah, oh, that's not the right one. That is not the right one. I can just right click. That was way too big. Oh dear. Well, you get the idea. I Why do I have it? Okay. I can just right click and it does it for me. As long as I have the blocks in my inventory, it works. And it makes my life so much easier. And now I don't have to climb up there. I don't have to build scaffolding all over the place. I can just terraform it from down here. <laughs> I can also probably do detail from down here. I might need another spell book for that though. But that is a project for once I get the walls actually looking decent because we've still got a whole cave to kind of block off right there. And a lot of really just harsh, messy edges that need to be fixed, but it's coming along. And also Cinder actually fits. So there's that. Cinder has, where is she? She's over in my, she's over in my backpack actually. Cinder is, I think, either fully grown or a few days off being fully grown. Yeah, she's fully grown. She's absolutely huge. <laughs> She is massive, but she fits in the cave. It is a a comfy fit. Definitely, it'll work. It'll work. Yeah, see? Works perfectly. Definitely not. Could probably have put it back further. I might even dig back further into the wall, actually, to try and give it a bit more room. But that looks fabulous as it is already. So I'm going to keep working on that, and we're going to finish the cave, and then I'll actually be able to work on my house. <laughs> oh, this is going to be a very long episode, but hey. Why not? Anyway, on to the next bit of time lapse.
Alright guys, I am back. This project has taken me six days. <laughs> Between being busy with stuff in real life and getting resources and getting everything I needed to actually make it and then actually making the project, it's taken me a little bit of time. Look how beautiful that is. It's so pretty. I love this place. Anyway, let's go have a look at what we've made here. So first things first, there's this mess right here. Well, it's not really a mess, it's a super smelter. And I'll leave a link in the description for the video that I followed for this because I can't I'm not good at redstone, so I had to look up a little tutorial for just something simple, and we will make a better one later on, but this this works really well. I'll leave a link for the video in the description if you want to use this little design here. But let's have a look at this. Look at Cinder. She's absolutely massive. Now, honestly, the cave's a little bit tiny for how big she's gotten. She can barely fit in here, and even her tail actually is a bit, a bit too long, but that's okay. The cave is... it, it, it do. It do good and me like. Oh my god. But this 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 might have been much more of a pain. I don't remember, actually, first off, there's that. I don't remember, actually, if I talked about it in a little interlude between the the rest of the time-lapse and the before time-lapse, but this this mod, Ars Novu, has made digging the cave out much easier because I could just make a spell and break blocks more than one and I didn't even need a pickaxe I just needed decent robes and some mana and it made my life so much easier as well as especially especially the um the texturing in the walls you've seen you saw in the time lapse that I was just shooting blocks at the walls that made it so much easier to do the texture in the walls like I'd, I'd still be doing it if it wasn't for that <laughs> But that's the cave. There's nothing nothing too special about the cave. I may go in and detail the floor a little bit more with some stairs, but look at that's that's the cave for you. And I think Cinder approves. So let's head up to our cave. Now, I didn't record every bit of this because getting the camera in a decent spot was a pain, and also because I can't work on the same spot for more than two seconds, apparently. So half the time I wasn't even recording myself. But look at our little little door. When I, when I built this in a test world, I built it, I think, twice as tall, but I didn't have a cave like the one in the test world, so I made do with what I had. But let's have a look. Look at it! I love it! It's so pretty! Now, there are a few detailing bits that I still need to finish. Like, I need more, more candles. Like, those are the only candles I have, because I don't have beeswax. But there's some details that need finished, and these pink lights, I'm not sure how I feel about them. I might change their color or just get rid of them in general, but other than that, I, I am in love with how it's looking so far. We've actually got a storage system here, which we're going to need a much bigger one eventually because this, I'm these are going to get filled up so quickly. Where's the cobblestone? There it is. But we've got this little uppy stair place that goes to a bench right here, which is quite nice. I like the bench. I need carpet as well. That's what the dyes in my inventory are for later. But that's a project for not right now. I want to get this video done. It's taken long enough and I can do carpet later tonight. But let's head up here. 
So here's our little magic area. Again, carpet. That's what the purple dye is going to be for. We need more detail here, but this is a little, a good little start for a magic area for the Ars Novo stuff. There's my robes that I've been using this whole time. And up here, we've got a little forge smithy area with some... We're going to pretend this is molten metal, but, you know, it's, it's definitely real, authentic, molten stuff. <laughs> we've got the table things over here. Well... Honestly, yeah, it's just a table. There's the smithy thing and this table, which lets me craft the fancy, like, stuff like that fancy bench down there and that thing down there and the little lockbox that was next to it. That's what this table's for. And these pots as well. I love this mod. There's the furnishing mod. Again, it'll be linked in the description if you want to have a look at it. They will all be in the description if you want to have a look at them. We've got a chandelier there, which, again, I might move, like, to kind of right there because I feel like it's just kind of odd there. Maybe I'll add a second one. I don't know. I'm out of iron either way, so <laughs> I don't get to make another one of those for a little while. But let's head over here to our little kitchen area. So this stuff here, this section, is from Farmer's Delight. And it's an, it's a lovely little mod. It's what added the egg sandwich. And I've been eating these like they're going out of style. Same with the fried rice. But I haven't made more of the fried rice, so I need to make more. Also, cookie jar. I'm definitely going to spend tonight getting some cookies to fill up this jar. And we've got muffins. I, I did not know right-clicking that would break that. I'm going to just put those back. There we go. <laughs> And over here, we've got ourselves a little bedroom. Again, it needs some carpet, but I don't have wool and I need to go get the carpet. We've got our backpack right here. We've got a book that I did not... I, I need to stop right-clicking things. <laughs> and we've got a little bookshelf and a little chest and another dresser sort of thing right there. And this desk as well as a storage thing and this. So that's nice. But again, yeah, I, I, I don't know. One day I'll learn how to word uh, describing things up this way. Let's go. <laughs> Up here, we've got a little sort of hidden stairway sort of thing that leads up to this bridge that leads up to our enchanting area. And one thing I found out with the decoration mod, whatever what it was called before, I don't remember, you can place books. So that's very convenient. So these are just, these here are the regular books and these are enchanted books. I need to put a chair right here, but again, project for not right now. But we've got an enchanting table that'll make life a lot easier for when it's time to actually start enchanting stuff. But that is, again, a project for a good ways down the line. <laughs> Like I said, I do think this place could use a little more detail, especially on the floor. I might put some buttons down here and some stairs to give it some more texture. But I just, I want to get this video out. It's taken me long enough to finish it. <laughs> but there we go. Let's, let's head outside. Is it dark outside? Um, it is dark outside. Is it dark outside? I can't tell. The glass pane is black, so it's hard to tell. It's getting to be dark outside. Look at it. Such a nice view. I love it. It's so peaceful out here as well with the ambient sounds. But anyway, um, let's head down. Let's head down to Cinder, actually. Let's do it over here. Hello, Cinder. But anyway. <laughs> oh, yeah. One more thing I need to show you guys as well. The, the Yeet of Regret, if you look in the bottom left. That's the fun spell that I was using to fly around in the time lapse. So if you see in the time lapse, I will be just yeeting around kind of like this. That's what the Yeet of Regret is. So, oh yeah, there's another thing I need to mention as well. This is, that's the Yeet of Regret. Now, I've named it that because I may have killed myself a few times using this spell. Because it does do fall damage. <laughs> and I may have amplified it a bit too much the first time. And it, I, I regretted it. So, Yeet of Regret. But let's go down here as well. One more thing. Look, we have an oxalotl. So, I, I need to do the, the water breathe. Water breathe. There we go. We have an oxalotl. Its name is Nibbler. So if you keep an eye on the community tab, which I will try to post more things in over the coming however long, then you would have seen that we got a little oxalotl. Oxalotl? Oxalotl named Nibbler. And the, the, the name came from a friend that was hanging out with me when I found the oxalotl, and he named it. Also, the reason it's changed up is because when I checked in here after I put it in here, oh dear, my water breathing. It was down there terrorizing the glow squid, and that was not okay. So Nibbler is currently in Oxalotl jail. <laughs> oh my god. I know you're chained up, but like... The chain... Is there even... What happened? Okay, yeah, he's chained up. It's just invisible. I don't think... I think the shaders don't like it, but that's fine. So yeah, Nibbler is gonna live right there until I build a better spot for him. But... That would be... Yeah, there's there's that. That is not the yeet spell. That's the water breathing spell. Let's head over here. And let's go... Let's go sleep, actually. I don't want to deal with all the mobs. Alright. Hop 
happily daytime again, but I think that is going to be the end of this video. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like on the video. If you really enjoyed, be sure to subscribe. And I, I am going to try not to stop uploading again. I got terribly burnt out on Minecraft the last time I tried uploading again, and I, I couldn't bring myself to play it. But really, I'm, I'm more excited for it this time. So hopefully that won't happen again. I am going to do my damnedest to try not to stop posting stuff again so we will see hopefully not but anyway once again if you guys enjoyed be sure to leave a like and again subscribe and do all the fun stuff next episode we're not going to do something quite as outrageous as this but we're definitely going to do some more fun stuff so you will see oh dear me they are going they just they've been there this whole time <laughs> just going up and down the hill at various different places oh my god but anyway once again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video bye